Hi and welcome to access tutorial of how to create a save button that would display a save message without a single line of code. So let's do this. I'm going to exit out of this variable or well, let's go to design view really and there we go. So let's close this property and I'm going to kind of like minimize all of this and just drag this that much. Yeah, that's that's good enough for me. Let me drag this that much. Yeah, that's all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it look a little bit pretty. Let's grab this option group and I'm going to draw that here. Yeah, that's cool. And I'm just going to cancel that as it deletes this. I just want to make it look a bit interesting. Okay, the next thing is I'm going to add a browser. Let's come in and just add a browser here yeah that's cool just dump it there somewhere here right and enter my url there click on ok there we go that's the url for my channel now let's grab a button this one button here and i'm going to go to i think it's right here record operation select save there we go and I'm going to select the text save there and right there I'm going to change the command to cmd i saved or saved cmd saved yeah and click on finish there that's all you need to do right there okay and now that the button is there I'm going to right click on this very button and let's go to build look at it right there there we go and it opens up this coding area the code is there for you so all you just need to do now is you see this drop down let's select it and let's select message look for message in there and there we go that's the message there we go and it's giving us some dialogue right in there the message you want to enter just maybe if you want to enter something like student database saved student database system or students management system saved okay something like that and in here do you want the beep sound if you want that you say yes or you say no okay now type of icon that you want it's an information warning and let's go for the information and title okay the title i'm going to make that title student database there student management system and in here let's say saved student management system okay let's do that like that saved student management system and that's all there is to it so all you then need to do is let's see it's done just save that's all without a single line of code so i'm going to close this now let's come in and, and run okay i'm going to just right click and select form view and there we go guys right here that's my youtube channel and right here that is the button if i click on the button look at that student management system save to the management system and that's it click on ok and that's the icon there and that's how you create a save button without a single line of codes but let's just make this thing looks a bit pretty i'm just gonna come in here now let's go back to design view i'm gonna come down here you see this the frame that i have in here let's go to the properties and just change the background okay let's go to all let's look for background color back color select that let's use my favorite color uh, it's now here okay let's change this right here that is okay that blue 58 158 and 160 there that is it right there so i'm going to close that and just move this down move the button down a little bit and i'm just going to increase the size of this font here let's go to font format and right there somewhere that there we go that is it make that maybe about 20 
say yeah it one is fine change the font color to something darker where is font for color that's the for color there change it to something back a little bit there and i'm just going to add one more button let's come in here and add one button here that, that we we'll use that for exit so and add another message on that one as well let's go for form exit this one close the form yeah next text box next cmd exit finish and increase the font size first of all let's see the size of this my button here so that i can make them all look the same and that's it so i'm going to right click on it as well and just enter a message now drop this down select message where is the message message there and in there just say system or confirm if you want to exit or exit the system say exit the system there and here we have that and try to be students student management system student management system there that's, that's how you create message on your system without a single line of code now close that now you guys have seen me create that twice so i'm gonna come in here now right click uh form and that's it guys so now let's just change one or two things here i'm gonna come in here now you see let's come right here or open up a new page and just enter one zero 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 five that's the course code and the name is tony come right down here Allen. and the group let's call that the d group date of birth mail let's save that yes system saved click on yes there. and that is it guys so with that i'm going to call it the end of this brief tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it you all have a nice day bye for now